So, this video is gonna hit home in a big way. This is gonna be a great video, great topic. And I'm feeling pretty damn good compared to what I was yesterday and the days before and the whole last week. From, for obvious reasons for you guys that are on my channel, bleach poisoning, just don't even use it, bro. Just, if it's even in your house, in fact, panic for two seconds and throw it outside because that shit is awful. It's worse than COVID. It's worse than all that stuff. It's absolutely fucking terrible. So, and this is something that's been saving me along this way, keeping my energy in a good place. And without it, it definitely wouldn't have been the same because this stuff fights inflammation. And that's what happened to me. It kind of closed over my throat. I had asthma as a kid. I don't have it no more, but it made it bad. And that's why like even getting around cigarette smoke or anything else, just like it just wrecks me because of those issues. But I want to show you guys, for those of you guys that have not seen them yet, these products on my channel, I have them in different flavors. We got chocolate coconut, vanilla caramel, and that's in like protein powder form, but it's not protein powder. Um, our sea moss, black seed oil, and there's gummies as well, which, is, which are over there. But the link will be in the description box if you guys wanna try that out. It's gonna keep your energy very high compared to 90 some percent of people on earth who do not use these products. The ingredients we should be getting in food, we're no longer getting them. So we have to use supplementation. We have to do our research. We have to know what we're taking so we can keep our energy at a high level. It's very important because most people's walking around with seriously bad energy. Like, man, I just got sick. My energy's probably higher than most people's, like being completely sick. So it says a lot. But on with this video, <coughs> this is gonna hit home, man. This is gonna hit home in a big way. People are going to get furious when you cut them off. And I mean furious. And you know why people get so mad when you cut them off? First and foremost, they know they have done something that is unfair to you. They know this. And they know that you know, which means you have defeated them in brutal fashion. Fatality. Mortal Kombat style. You have defeated them. They try to get you, they try to fool you. People don't get cut off for just no reason. And when you do cut them off, and people act stupid too, like people be acting stupid when you cut them off. Which is hilarious. Because clearly, <laughs> things were unfair to some degree. <clears throat> With me today, I give people little to no chances. When I see certain things, like I give little chances, like, like the second something any bad goes down, I'm not just gonna completely turn on somebody, but it's like, when you're seeing patterns, when you see just like, okay, this is just retarded at this point, like bad things are taking place for either in big ways or small ways, but the thing is, there's patterns to it and you catch these patterns, so you put a stop to it, you cut people off, and that's when they're gonna get furious because they know you know. They're not mad because you cut them off because they're a good person. They're mad at you because you cut them off because they're a bad person doing bad things covertly to you. When these things happen, it literally boils my blood. It boils my blood and you know what's happening in plain sight. You should be picky with people today, pickier than ever who you deal with. Because most people out there is seriously up. People in school, people doing all sorts of things, they're around people they don't want to be around. They're all messed up. Hell, when I was in high school, it started to mess me up. I found myself again when I got out of high school because it's toxic. There's a bunch of people there you don't even want to be around. You got to deal with teachers. You got to deal with a bunch of people's attitudes. And it just gets too much and you lose yourself and you don't even do what you want to do. You're just a puppet walking around class to class. 
you go on lunch this time. Oh, I have to be back here. And it's just like, it's so fast everywhere you go. You just can't even be yourself. You can't do what you want to do. It's literally the definition of prison. You eat when you eat. You sleep when you sleep. You get up, you get up. You do cleaning work for the prisons when you do cleaning work. School is prison. No wonder so many people that's in school hate their lives, including myself when I was in school. You don't want to be there. And if you have to go there, put your head down and get it done. Because I'm not saying don't go to school at all, but it's not for me. <laughs> if you're in school, put your head down and get the shit done fast. Try to be yourself as much as possible. Try to stay focused as much as possible. I'm a product of my environment. So I'm gonna blend wherever I go, whoever I'm around. It's just how it is. That's why when you're at a school, you have a choice so that stuff don't really happen. But anyways, people's gonna get pissed, bro, when you cut them off, when you set a boundary and a standard. Most people don't even have the own power to be setting boundaries or standards. They have to deal with certain family members. They have to deal with certain snotty nose friends because if they don't, they're gonna have no friends. They have to do certain things. You know how much power you're going to hold when you don't give a flying fuck about any of that. You're gonna be you. You're gonna hold standards and boundaries for certain people. If things are good, then things are good. That's great. But a lot of people aren't that good today. In fact, they're fucking terrible. Their energy is terrible. Like, Are people benefiting your life? Because that's what friends are for. Not to give you favors and give you money and handouts, but to benefit your life in a positive way. If you take a trip, if you go skiing, if you go hiking, if you go to the beach with a friend, is it positive? Did you laugh together? Did you create memories? Did you chase some girls up the beach? Did you do things? That was a benefit. That was positive. Or were you with this friend and they're just negative. They're doing all this bullshit. They have these addictions. They, they're snappy at you. They're not a good person. They don't care about your well-being at all. Like, <laughs> this is some bullshit, bro. This is why I cut so many people off because people's energy is messed up. And when you cut them off, they're gonna hate you. And they hate you because they want you to put up with their mess. And that's the truth. They expected you, <laughs> you, to put up with their mess. And I'll tell you, I ain't doing it. I ain't putting up with your mess. You're not a positive person to me. You're not that funny. You got an attitude, <laughs> you're just mean, you're grumpy, and you don't know how to act. So guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna be dipping and dodging away from these individuals. You can get away from me because I don't wanna put up with it. Here's the thing folks, don't be around people who you feel you're just putting up with them. You're putting up with them, you're putting up with them. What is going on over here? <laughs> You're putting up with these people. Your life is going to be much better if you're not putting up with these people. Like, can they come around you? Can they walk into your home? Can, ever, can you meet up somewhere? Can you go on some trip, some beach walk, some something? And like, they are themselves. They're a funny person themselves. They have a lot to offer themselves. Their life is in order themselves. Or are they negative? Is their life a mess? Are they always toxic? Do they have all these addictions and they're just snappy at you and they're a long lost dragon from 10,000 years ago? What is it gonna be? Because I'll tell you, I don't wanna be around people like that. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of people. Like <laughs> in today's society, <clears throat> And I'm a people person and I love to be around the right energy, but it's like 
people have made me just dislike people a lot, just from the way most people are. Like, it's not even good to have conversations with most people, so I keep my circle extremely small, as you guys know, and as you guys should yourselves. Just because someone's your family member does not mean it's just, just be around them all the time. Like, we're all fucking people at the end of the day, man. Are they good or not? Because you're going to be told by some of your closer family, oh, well, they're a family. Give them another shot. Oh, just be around them. Oh, just do that. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I've seen enough. I put up with enough. And in instances where things have happened to me in my life, people have done things to me very covertly where no one else knows it's happening besides me and this person which means they're torturing the ever-living hell out of me. No one else knows what's happening. People see this other person as like, not a bad person or manipulative, but they're absolutely destroying your life. So that's what I had to deal with a lot. And now I shut myself apart and I'm not dealing with those people ever again. I'm just not, I have no interest. I have interest in using my time very wisely, very safely, very efficiently to become the person that I'm supposed to be because if I got these blood suckers leeching on to me, trying to take from me 24 seven and there's some addict, there's some crazy ass person, then why the hell am I gonna stick around for that? They don't have a care on earth for themselves. How can they have a care on earth for you? You can care for you. You can care for others if you want to. And just because you can don't mean you should. You have to understand <clears throat> who you're dealing with. Because that's how you lose yourself. I have lost myself in the past from putting my care into people who didn't give a rat's ass about me. So it's not good. <laughs> it's wild, man. And these people get furious when you cut them off and I mean furious they're gonna get so pissed they're gonna be slandering your name behind your back making you out to be some bad person when they've been doing bad things to you the whole time you cut them off because of it but they're gonna make you look like the bad person making up lies making up rumors slandering your name And I've lost such trust in people that it just, you start to like hate people. Like literally like F you. Like type shit to people. Cause it's like, you just can't win with them today, bro. People is just a dump. The filthy back biting, back stabbing animals. You absolute can land animals. You're slower than fuck. It's just, Oh, hey. And it's so peaceful. Just being able to do what you want to do. You don't got to answer to nobody. You don't got to put up with their mess. Angry little pit bulls for life they are. And they're going to be pissed at you for anything when you cut them off. They're going to go to their other clown world friends. And they're gonna talk about it. They're gonna make a big storm about yourself. And they're not even friends with each other. That's the thing, bro. Gangs talking individuals who's watching your life, who's paying attention to you. These people that get in groups, probably past hater friends of yours. They're not even friends with one another. They're not. The difference is you used to think you were actually all friends. But something happened along the line. We all go through these phases where we either go through our stuff the right way or we fold. These people fold. They turn to something else. They become completely unlike themselves. They go down this black hole and you fight for your life. So you still have a life. They don't. You do. And they get mad when you cut them off. And best believe, they have a lot to say about you. But they treat you unfairly. In fact, things were toxic long before I even cut people off in my own life. 
things were toxic long before that. It came to the point where I was hearing things about certain individuals I used to be friends with, where they're talking about me in a bad way for me to completely cut them off. That's how much of a chance I have given people. But now I do might see little things and it's like, off with your head, buddy. Cause I don't trust you. I already know a lot about you. I, <laughs> your own actions tell me a lot. You can kind of tell like, when you grow so high, cause you're that focused in life, you can start to see where other people are like clear as day. Cause you get so high. You can see how many problems they have just by looking at the person. You, you can tell how out of line they are. And when people are that out of line, I ain't dealing with it. Like they don't like <clears throat> they don't even show a willingness to learn or grow. They don't even show those things where like, man, like I want to get better, bro. And they're, that, that's positive. That is positive energy. If people's talking to you, coming up to you and be like, man, like, I want to grow. Like, I want to do this. I'm sick of this, man. Like, I really want to do better. And I'm, I'm starting to do all these things. And I'm doing all the right things. And I, like, that's positive. Most people can't even do that, bro. They're just stuck in their ways, miserable, doing this, doing that. And it's like, they don't see a problem. And when you continuously grow, the truth is going to get revealed about so many people around you, man. So many people. The truth is just going to hit you in the face. It's like, wow, they're that. Wow. He said, she said this about me. Wow. Their true color show. It's either when you're like, when you're up or you're like really down. It's never in the middle about where you're going to see people. The, the true colors and people. And when the truth gets revealed, that's when you make a decision. Which means holding on to people, which is not a good decision. If they're not a good person, because it's going to hold you back. It's going to slow you down. I made those mistakes long ago where I held on to toxic people too long because they didn't continue to elevate themselves. They stayed very much so stagnant. And when that happens, they become bad people. Like bad apples type people. They start to gather these addictions. They're lazy. They don't want to do things. And now their attitude is warped. Some of the most charismatic people I used to be friends with, bro, changed like this. Like they used to make me laugh. I used to make them laugh, obviously. And things were just so good. And it's like they were one of the best friends I ever had in my life. And like a year goes by, two to three, they completely and utterly changed. Completely. Now they're super toxic. Everything they used to have and used to be is just gone. It is diminished. Now they're like an addict, whether it be to tobacco, to weed, to alcohol, they're addicts. They can't control themselves. And now they're very moody people if they don't have their substance at the right time and all this stuff. And it's like, how can you be a friend with this person? They start to get out of shape completely. You can't go nowhere with them. They're not even an, an attractive person themselves anymore. They're just, they become an embarrassment. Like you don't even want to be seen with these people, bro. Like they become a complete embarrassment. And that's what happens. And people like that, like, they're going to try to hold on to you, bro even though they're bad and they know they've done bad things like to you. Sometimes they clue in. Sometimes I've had people snap at me and the second they get a little bit of their substance, they start to apologize and stuff. They got demons, bro. You can't be close with these people. They're, they're very much so problematic people. We are problem solvers. We tell them the truth to their face and they don't like it. They don't like how good we are on a self-improvement level. They don't like that we feel good, but we, we, we don't need anything. You know what we need? We need water. We don't need alcohol beverages. We don't need the smoke. We don't need to be doing lines of cocaine. We're good. They wish they felt as good as we feel. They have so many demons. They've gotten so much stuff. 
this is why you have to cut people off for the most part. This is why I had to cut off most people in my life in the past. You lose best friends, you lose family members, you lose people once closest to you to things because they have given up on themselves. You have not. They have. It's done. It's a wrap. And just know, man, whenever you cut them off, they're going to hate you. They're going to hate you. Someday, this has also happened. They might grow up someday. Years and years and years, Michael Bow, you might see them again. And they might be a little bit better. They might be a little bit brighter. And that's good. It don't even mean you go back friends with them or anything else. But that's a good sign. In life, bro, you have to let people just go through things and you do your own thing. You can't hold yourself back. It is mandatory you cut people off if it's the right move. It is mandatory. Don't feel bad. None of that. You have to do what's best for you. Because I, I made many mistakes holding on even too long to toxic people. And you don't want to feel bad. You don't want to feel guilty for, for cutting them off. You almost let people use you for a while. And it's like it gets to a point where it's like those same people you're helping and supporting. Money's coming out of your pocket for these people as well. Free rides, free gas trips to the gym, free everything. You go through the drive through they have no money, you pay for their stuff. Stuff like this, little conveniences. And the same people be talking shit behind your back whenever you're not with them. These are individuals that are troublesome. You got to cut them off and do what's best for yourself. And that's the video for today. <clears throat>